All right, you guys, we have next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet, and I am playing Kumba Karna, Kumba Karna against Amazenka. Okay, so if you haven't seen the last episode, I highly recommend watching it. I mean, you'll know how the outcome just based on the god we're playing today, but still, highly recommend watching it. Okay. Ooh, you know, almost almost every single game of the Guardian Gauntlet, we have been fighting against Amazenkov. And it gets a little bit tiring, but hey, I'd rather fight AMC than the other gods. As I always say, now we can get Blink or Bracer or Sunder. Sunder's very good on Kumba, but in terms of surviving the early game, it doesn't help that much. It's more of a second relic item. But I would also like to have Thorns. So if I get Bracer, I can't get Thorns and Sunder. I only get one, so I might start off with the Sunder, even though Sunder's not even good till you upgrade it. But it's like waiting till level 12 to get upgrades to sun Sunder is a little bit too long. And also, Thorns isn't very good until later on in the game anyways. Not having that Bracer might hurt me. That's okay. Alright. Pumba's Clear is actually not that bad, which is, you know, which is good. It's just that I'm going to take a lot of poke. From the bees. Oh, did I hit the archers? Well, that sucks. <laughs> there goes my clear. And he already clicked the wave. Yes. Ow. I can clear the wave kind of by like turning my camera like that. Oh, whoops. I missed. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good at all. Oh, shoot. I missed the minion. I missed the archers because he slowed them down with the bees and spread out the wave perfectly. And then I missed the other minion. Alright, let's just try not to get first blooded. If he gets red buff, he gets red buff. As long as we don't get first blooded. I see the problem about trying to clear wave against Amazenkov, though. I see the problem. He makes the minions spread out perfectly so that I can't really do anything. I really hope he doesn't come and steal this. I'm letting him take red buff, but I need this blue, this blue buff too. Okay, good. Yeah, Kumba's late game is pretty good. With upgrade Sunder, he can one-shot people even with double defense. Especially with Soul Reaver and Polly. So it's pretty, pretty good. But getting there, is, there can be difficult. Because I think his mid-games is like... His mid and early is not that good. Like, his clear. Like, here's his clear, right? Good clear. But the minions have to be aligned perfectly. And his kill potential isn't really that high. Unless they're, like, below half health. Like, my ult just does not do enough right now. Get some more minions. So is he starting Blackthorn Hammer? If he's starting Blackthorn Hammer, that might be good for me, because then I can get a I can get a nice Soul Reaver. Also, I'm gonna upgrade my Sunder now. Because regular Sunder is just kinda useless. Upgrade Sunder is where it's at. Increase your damage by 20%. Okay, he does get Blackthorn Hammer. Okay. So Soul Reaver looks like it's gonna be good. Cause I'm I'm betting you he's gonna get a bulwark later, or even a Genji's, which still gives health. And he'll have enough health where Soul Reaver is worth a lot. Yeah, with Kumba, you can kind of come into wave at an angle and then change your camera angle. Obviously, if you actually <laughs> move it to the correct angle, though. I'm a little rusty with Kumba. I haven't been playing Kumba that much. I did one practice match on stream for this. And I won the game against a Vulcan, but it was a practice match, so it didn't count. Oh, shoot. Okay. I might need an ult out here. I don't like ulting out, but if I have to, I have to. He picked up the Stinger, so he'll be able to ult me next time, too, which kind of sucks. I should probably get a Chalice. I'm delaying my Bancroft by a lot by getting upgrades under and a Chalice, but, you know, I still wouldn't be able to afford it. I hate the bees. The bees do so much poke. I'm Zen Cobb's getting nerfed tomorrow, <laughs> not today. Or no, actually, two days from now, sorry. Oh, 
The yawn's good for disengaging. Also, for if you're if you're actually boxing them, you can use yawn and wake them up to lower their attack speed and movement speed. That's always good. Good. The thing is that Kumba kind of uses diminishing returns a lot. So, like, all my stuns and stuff make my yawn last shorter and shor shorter. Okay, I thought I would do more damage. No! No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I wasn't supposed to die. Okay. Guys, beads. If I get out here, that'd be good. Oh! Oh, 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 I haven't gotten first blooded yet. I can maybe stay just for this wave. Not the best idea in the world, but hey, I got a bunch of gold. As long as he doesn't take my blue buff, which he probably will. That's okay. All right, we're getting Bancrofts. I'm happy. Haven't died yet. Game Bancrofts. My passive's down. 600 gold behind. Closer to 11 gold behind because I had to use, I got my upgrade Sunder. I don't want to use my Sunder unless I know it's a kill. Like there when I ulted, that was not a kill, not even close. So I don't want to do that. Hopefully he doesn't come over here because he knows I'm taking this. Looks like he is, or he's going to his blue buff. If he's going to his blue buff, I'm going to take these minis. Your middle tower is under attack. He has control of red buff and his blue buff, but since I have minis and blue buff control, I'm, I won't fall too far behind. Like, I'll slowly fall behind because he is getting more XP and gold, but not as fast. Ow. Ow, the bees. Oh, his ult can kill me right now. Oh, the bees hurt. I need some defense. And any boots. Bees do so much damage. Honestly, I'm glad they're getting nerfed. It's funny because Amazon and Cubs Bees has always been a joke of how little damage they do. But they, they kept getting little buffs over the years. And it adds up. Alright, didn't lose too much gold there. Now I'm 800 gold behind. I'm falling behind pretty fast, actually. So, we need to get a kill. Easier said than done, though. Maybe I can get him to dive tower to get his finger. You think he'll do it? No. I'm happy with that. I took half my health, but he didn't pick up his finger. He's getting so much HP 5 from his hives that I can't really poke him down. Look at that. All the bees. I want to travel over the, the bees. My sunder him here. See what we can do. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, he slowed me. I mean, we're at, we're at the point where we can start doing a lot of damage, though. That's good. I scared him off. Yeah, that's always good if you're coming from the jungle to clear the wave by, by. Using your one and then turning your camera to clear the wave. A lot of people may know that from my previous Kumba Karna full gameplays, but any new viewers on YouTube might not know that Kumba trick. It's very helpful in duel. All right, our ult's a pretty low cooldown now, so we can start using it more sparingly, more for disengaging and more for poke. Now I can't, this is the first time this game I might actually fight for red. Because I can actually can somewhat contest. Mitigate half my damage. Oof. Blackthorn is no joke. Same thing with Genji's. Thank you. 
I should have woken up, woke him up to slow him. I think he's dead either way, though. Nice. Got first blood. That means we get red buff as well. And we're still behind in gold. But, <laughs> first blood bonus. We're back in this game. And our Sunder's up in two for next time. Now I have red buff and Sunder. Might be able to one-shot him next time. And consider he had Blackthorn and tier two defense. That was really good. All right. I really... It's funny, because I don't mind playing Capri again if I do end up losing with Kumba. But I don't want to play Capri, because if I lose with Capri, I have to play Yorm. And Yorm's very frustrating. Because it's like, you could be winning the entire game and you can't do anything about it. All right, time to go. Oh. All right. He picked up the stinger, but I don't think it really mattered. Okay, so now we can start getting our defense. Defense, like breastplate. Breastplate or Nemean. And we get thorns. Ooh, or maybe blink. Ooh, no, let's get thorns. Blink's good, but I think thorns will make it, will give us a higher chance of actually winning. Just reflecting his damage. Like when he's committed. Like right after he ults, if I, or right before he ults. Might be good. Just because then he has to keep fighting. Oh, the minion died right as I hit it. That sucks. That was a bad engagement, but I was planning on shooting the minion at him. And now I don't want to waste my ult. Or do I? Or do I? Oh, that did that killed! Yes! Oh, that's going in the montage. Oh my god, what a good play! That's got to be one of the best plays of this Guardian Gauntlet so far. I bet you the keyboard warriors were about to criticize me on the play here. And then they see that play. Put the keyboards away. Oh my lord. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm time to go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, let's get Nimeon. Nimeon reflects physical damage. And we are a magical character, so he can't mitigate it. Even though he's going such a tanky build. I'll never ban AMC, man. I'd rather ban Tyr at this point. I've been fighting so many Tyrs. Like, holy moly. Tyrs has started an epidemic of Tyrs. Okay, okay. Yeah, so some people were wondering, uh, once I finish the Guardian Gauntlet, I am going to make a montage with all the plays from every single god. And I, I think I have a song picked out as well. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But I'll be very happy with it. That way, the people that don't even like these full gameplays, they still get good content. And maybe they'll be like, hey, I, I wonder how this play happened, you know? And they can go and watch the video where it happened. And then once the, the the series is finished, in that montage and description, I'll put which god I played for which games. That way, if you only want to watch the Capri gameplay, you would know which episode to watch, you know? Which, by the way, is last episode. Alright, he got Brawlers, which is unfortunate, but not too bad. We need to start working on our Obsidian. And I'll probably want Atai Hill as well, just for his bees. I just walked into that. I'm a genius. Okay. Let's go. Kill this. Almost ahead by a thousand gold. Very good. Alright, he's taking his buff. I don't think I can get over there in time. If I had blink, I could, but no blink was given. Ooh, I want to fight back, but I can't. No, I can't fight back. I can't. I can't. As much as I want to, oh, I might die. 
I need to kill this so he doesn't get the movement speed. No! Okay. Come on. Come closer. Come closer to the sleeping Kumba. Come closer to the sleeping Kumba. Oh, I hate that. I hate when that happens. When Kumba's like getting up and the last auto still kills him. That's always the worst. All right. Let's start working on our Divine Ruin, I would say. Do I, well, how much health does he have right now? Soul Reaver could start doing some work. Although more pen right now would do even more. Especially since he has Bracer. I wasn't even going to get that though for his Bracer. I was just going to get it for his, for his bees. Yeah, the nice thing about Sunder and Thorns is that Sunder will actually make him take more damage from my Thorns. I'm pretty sure. And that's good. I'm not having very good timing on these, but it's kind of hard to use these relics when he's like 100% committed. Like there's times where it's ideal to use thorns, right? But the thing is that sometimes if you use thorns, they're going to run away instead of fight you. And that's if you use it too early at a fight. You got to use it once they're committed and you will get less damage out of it. But then they'll at least actually fight into the thorns, you know, which is good. Wow, he's very fast. He is very fast. He is very fast. He just walked out of all my abilities. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm zoomed on smooth and speed. A little bit overpowered. Alright. I'm gonna have to give up red buff, unfortunately. He did half my health. I hate it when I can't think of anything to talk about, but sometimes there's not much to talk about. Except how fast he is! Oh my lord, I cannot hit my two anymore. Because he can just walk out of it. Let's try and kill these hives. These annoying hives. He placed another one. So let's go kill it again. I can't actually take it because he'll steal it from me. Yeah, if he just slows me and then can walk out of my two, that's pretty dumb, but whatever. Pretty dumb. Oh, he got, he got Aussie too. That's even better for my anti here. Good. He still has that red buff, which hurts. Ow. Can you stop? Dude, can you stop being annoying for like five seconds? Wow, that should have hit, but you know, whatever. <gasps> oh, I missed. Shoot! I just tried to do a quick ult to get him off me, and then once I missed, I was screwed because my abilities were down. At least I cleared the wave. There's one minion. He might be able to take my Phoenix with that. He's pretty tanky. Wow, one minion that I didn't kill, and he gets my Phoenix off that. Oh, duel. No. Don't tell. Okay, I was gonna say if he was able to kill my Titan off that, he probably could have. I was dead for like 18 seconds. <laughs> this game is. In, oh, this game. Smite is something else, man. I'm gonna need a Wing Blade, but I want Soul Reaver. I'd say Soul Reaver is a bigger priority right now. Maybe Blink was the play. I can't close the distance right now. I believe I missed my ult. That really sucks. I just tried doing it fast. Just to get him off me. And my one was down because I used it on the wave, so it just kind of screwed me over. He doesn't even have any pen outside Brawlers and Aussie. I guess that's a lot of pen. That's 30 pen. Like, he doesn't even have an executioner, you know? He got Rune Forge. All right, dude. 
these new scummy builds, kind of sick of them. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Why did I even try? <laughs> can't even pick it up because I have blue buff. Oh well. My ult's on pretty short cooldown. Well, now Wing Blade's better than than Soyver because I won't get I won't get uh extra damage. The thing is that he has more health, so Wing Blade's even better. But oh well. I don't have the damage. If only I had my ultimate. If only I had my ultimate. Two seconds till I get my ult. Yes! Yes! Okay, good. That was super risky. That was super risky. Also, I have the max passive now, so... If he kills me and I'm close to him, I can yawn him. I need to keep that in mind. That's one thing I don't keep in mind is Kuba. If I'm gonna die, I might as well die next to him so I can yawn him and hopefully he won't kill me, you know? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Oh, once we get that Soul Reaver, he's gonna get shredded. He has so much health. Double Hammer Genjis. Double Hammer Genjis is so much health. I need this gold for Soul Reaver. What's going on with my auto attacks there? Is it strange? Uh, I can clear that wave later. Let's just go. I'd actually prefer it if those fire minions kill my wave. So that way he loses out on more XP and gold. Or not XP, just gold. We're both level 20. My Phoenix is up. All right, let's get this. Let's also upgrade Aussie since, I mean, upgrade, br upgrade Shield of Thorns because he has Aussie. This is good. Bought my wing blade. That's kind of sucks, but that's okay. He has two thousand six hundred health. If I can get a soul reaver, he's done. Like done, done. All right, let's go into tower. That way he can't pick up his ult. Dang, he's just gonna go for it. I didn't want to engage, but he popped my wing blade, so I kind of want to. Oh, maybe not. You know what? Give up the Phoenix. Give up the Phoenix. It's not worth losing game over. He's doing way too much damage. Ooh, double defense could be good too, though. I need Soul Reaver. Too, too, too much. I could possibly sell Bancrofts for Soul Reaver and sell Boots for double defense. Just because he doesn't have any percent pen. He only has flat pen, so that would lower his damage by so much. I'm already mid -game over half, though. Alright. Soul Reaver costs so much. I need like 3,500 gold before I can afford some of my boots for Soul Reaver plus Beat Potion. Please tell me he didn't take this. Okay, that's good. That's good. With this, I could probably kill him. Okay. Let's just not take half our health trying to get away from him here. Oh my god, no, he slowed me. Oh, don't run away. He has all these hives set up for his perfect escape. Ooh, if only that would activate my wing blade. Does he want me to chase him? If he stayed, I would wait for my wing blade and then run into that and just chase him, but nah. Alright. Is he getting... Spirit Robe? Or is that going to be mages? Because I can pop mages very easily. I still don't. I still can't afford Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver, not yet. Oh, he's 
running away a lot. Okay. Let me back up. With that double hammer build, I just need Soul Reaver bad. Keep slowing me whenever I try to use my two, so I can't hit him. Shoot. Okay, time to go back. Time to go back. I might be able to forward Soul Reaver now. Okay, I can't forward Speed Potion, but I kind of need Soul Reaver. Oh, he didn't take my Phoenix. He didn't stay for Phoenix. Interesting. He should have stayed for Phoenix, I think. Or maybe he went for Bull Demon? I don't know. Either way, I should be able to forward. Speed potion once I kill these, and then we'll be good. We'll be in the clear. I do want poly, but the only thing I could really sell for poly is wing blade, and I need my wing blade for a slow badly. Okay, let's get this. Go, 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 go clear that fire that fire wave. Oh, that's just regular wave? Okay, good. Okay. Oh, I need 500 more gold because my power potion is about to run out. Alright. Let's see how much damage we do now. Oh, he got Mantle. Oh, you got Mantle, huh? Yeah, Soul Reaver deals a lot of damage to you, huh? Shouldn't have built double hammer. You got Mantle. Double hammer Mantle Genjis. That's quad defense. He only has two power items. Like, actual power items. I don't understand how people have fun in this game doing that, but alright. Alright, let's go. I should be able to take this face. If only I had Polly. I want to take all my health. All right, let's go get Red Buff. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy Phoenix. Considering he has 178 like magical protections and 2,600 health, we just like pretty much one shot him. Oh, he sold it because he realized how useless Mantle was. We got shell guns, which is way better for him. Uh, I can actually pick up that red buff if I come back and stand on it right when my blue buff runs out. But only that. Because buffs stay on the ground for 30 seconds and my blue buff had 28 seconds left. Okay. Let's place a ward though. I think he's going for bull demon. I'm not sure. Okay, we have red buff. Perfect. Alright, I really don't want to lose this, but he can still come back. That's the scary part. I don't see why he took bull demon if... I mean, I guess if no reason not to take bull demon. Ah, he ran away. Still has too much defense! Still has way too much defense. Alright, next time I might just try to commit onto it. Dang, there's no good time to use thorns, man, because the second I pop thorns, he runs away. Let's just yawn him and just try and take out Titan. Oh, wait, but he got damaged. What damaged him? Oh, my Nemean. He shot an auto right as I messed him, and my Nemean woke him up, I think. That's unfortunate. I probably could have won the game if that didn't happen. I could sell Nemean for Breastplate, but I kind of like how much damage Nemean is doing to him, too. Oh, he's just coming for me. All right. He wants that, that Phoenix. He might get it. Okay, let's go. I have my Wing Blade if he slows me. Oh my god, he still got the phoenix. He still got the phoenix. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I think that's game. 
But it's kind of funny that you got the Phoenix with that last auto before you died. Alright, 35 seconds. Let's just go. Might as well try to clear the wave in between. But I don't think we can really wait for it. Yeah, that 27 seconds. That's game. Sphinx is almost up, though. I should be able to just kill it, though. Should be able to kill it. Just kill it. There we go. GG, Kumbakarna win against Abazenkov. And I had a really, really good play in that game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And have an amazing day. Oh, let me show the game stats, though. Cause, because some people like to see the game stats. Also, thank you guys for supporting this series so much. It means a lot to me. I'm really excited to make the montage once I finish the Guardian Gauntlet. Okay, let's look at the stats. Player damage, 2,000. 27,700. He had 32,000. Damage mitigated. I had 45,000 damage mitigated because he didn't get Executioner. He went double hammer. He went quad defense. <laughs> quad defense, a Brawlers, and an Aussie. Like, I know you're Amazenka, but you gotta get something, man. You gotta get Executioner somewhere in your build. Alright, GG, you guys. Next time we will be playing... Let's go to Guardians. We will be playing Kuzumbo, so look out for that. Have a good day, everybody.